Welcome to Beside the Burn for Monday the 20th of June. We're into our second week looking at Philippians chapter 3 and today is verses 12, 13 and 14. And this is based on the sermon that was delivered in Burnside Presbyterian Church last week on the 12th of June. And you can go back and listen to that sermon if you'd like an overview of chapter 3 and then join us each weekday as we delve a little deeper into these verses. We've been thinking about Paul's testimony and how he is telling the Philippians to reevaluate their lives and work out what is important. And he's been saying, look, if there's one thing that is important in life, then it is only Jesus Christ. Put Jesus first. Put all your effort into Jesus. If you can spend time knowing Jesus, it will be time that is not wasted. Time that you spend knowing other things is wasted. But time in Christ will always return to you a prophet. And today he carries on with that message. And in verse 12 we read, Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal. So Paul here is making it very clear. Look, I realise that this is difficult and you may think that because I'm the one who planted the church, because I'm an apostle, because I am held up as an example of others, you may think that I've got all this sussed, but it's not something that you can do because you're not as important. But Paul's saying, look, that's not the case. I have not got this all sorted out. I have not already obtained all this. I've still got a long way to go. And therefore, if you haven't got it all sorted out and you still feel as though you've got a long way to go, then we're going to do this together. That doesn't mean that you failed. It doesn't mean to say that you're a terrible Christian. It just means that you are striving to be better and to do what Christ wants you to do. And in the second part of this verse He deals with how we are to try and obtain it, how we are to try and put things right. He says, I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. And there we've got the two sides of the one coin where Paul is working, but Christ is working. Now, again, as I've said before, this is not conversion. Conversion is a work of God. God comes and dramatically intervenes in our lives and changes us. It is God's work. There's nothing that we can do in conversion. We simply respond to the call of God and we accept him and trust in him. But here what Paul is talking about follows on after conversion. And it's the process of sanctification, becoming sanctified, set apart, holy, becoming more like Jesus. And Paul here is saying, I press on. There's something that Paul has to do. He has to put the effort in. He has to do it. That's what we're all called to do, to read our Bibles and to obey the word and to live it out day by day in our lives. But as we press on to take hold, we're taking hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. We are taking hold of what Jesus has done for us. Jesus is working as well. He is leading us through the Holy Spirit to be more like him and to grow in our faith and to trust in him. And so it's this two-sided work that we don't just sit back and say, oh, well, God can do it. But we don't have to strive so hard that everything is our responsibility. We trust in the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us and to help us each step along the way. Paul continues, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. Paul knows that there's more to come, that he has to keep striving and working, and that one day it will be his when Christ returns and he is resurrected, then this will be his. But one thing I do. So he says, look, I know I don't have it all. I haven't got it all sorted out. But there's one thing that I do, and I encourage you to do the same. Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, 
I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. We're to forget what's behind. We're to forget our sin because Jesus has dealt with it. We're to forget our disobedience. We're to forget all the times that we have let God down because Jesus has wiped that clean. And instead then we're to strain towards what's ahead. We're to keep our eyes focused on Jesus and the prize that he has for us. And we are to keep going in his name. Paul says, I press on toward the goal. He's wanting to win the prize. He's wanting to do the best that he can, recognising that so much of it comes from God, from which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. But Paul is doing all he can to make sure that this is his, that the opportunity doesn't pass him by, that he doesn't miss out on what God is offering, but he trusts in him and finds hope in him. So what a way to begin another week that we strive, that we press on toward the goal, that we trust in Jesus Christ and we follow him. So let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for the example of Paul and we thank you for his honesty that he has not got all this sorted out. But we praise you, Lord that he is indeed the one who is to be glorified and the one who is to be lifted on high. Lord, help us, we pray, to press on toward the goal, to forget what has gone before, but instead, Lord, to trust in you to lead us heavenward. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.